as more and more devices are being managed by your Intersight virtual appliance, your organization is increasingly becoming more dependent on this appliance. And that's exactly why we've provided a highly available and resilient multi-node virtual appliance, assuring that your organization can rely on Intersight, especially on those moments when you need it, for example, during a server failure. The multi-node appliance will provide you with higher availability and can sustain node failures with zero downtime. The single node appliance has high availability on the hypervisor layer, but that comes with timeout and boot delays. The multi-node appliance also provides node replacements with zero downtime, where the single node appliance would require you to do a restore for backup in many cases, which will take several hours. Now, the multi-node appliance is supported on both the CVA and the PVA. And one of the questions that always comes up is if we support multi-site. The virtual Intersight appliance is able to manage compute network and storage resources from one site and from multiple sites. Now with the multi-node functionality, you're able to have a highly available appliance that can manage resources from multiple sites or just one site if you like. You should backup your appliance and mirror that backup to your DR site. When a site outage occurs, you'll be able to restore from backup and continue managing your devices locally. In order to set up a multi-node appliance, you will need to, as always, do not forget to configure your DNS. Very important. Then you will deploy the virtual appliance onto your hypervisor three times, and you will continue doing a normal single node installation on one of the nodes. After that has completed, you can join the remaining two nodes of your cluster and start the multi-node expansion. After that, don't forget to validate if everything works. Now, in case you already have a single node appliance running and you would like to upgrade it to multi-node, there are two options. One is to wait until we support this, or you can deploy a fresh multi-node appliance and restore a backup from your single node. Now, let's dive into the setup. Before you create your VMs, you need to make sure that you create a DNS entry for each node. You also need to make sure that you create a reverse DNS entry for each node. These are used for determining the host name of the nodes. Additionally, you also need to create a DC dash and then the host name of each node for your multi-node cluster. These are used for the device connectors to connect to. After that is done, you can deploy the VM. You start in vCenter by deploying an OVF template. Here you can upload or link to OVA you have downloaded from software.cisco.com. Now you provide a name for the VM and make sure that you include a number to indicate the node. After you selected your compute resource, you see an overview of the OVA. Click next to start the configuration. When deploying the appliance, you have to select one of the two larger deployment options. Please refer to the help pages to understand what the limit of each configuration is. Select the data store and network for the VM. Now we can customize the VM by adding an IP address, the net mask, default gateway, DNS domain, DNS server, a password, and the NTP server. You can also modify the disk sizes, but I recommend to leave them as is. We will repeat this process two more times. I will speed up the recording until all the VMs are available. Now we can start with the single node installation. First, let's boot all three VMs and log in to the first node. I will install a connected virtual appliance and the first step is to connect your appliance to an Intersight account. I'm not going to go into all the options here. You can watch the CVA installation video for that. However, if you require a proxy, you can configure those by clicking on the gear icon and enabling your proxy. Once the appliance has connectivity to the internet, you will receive a device ID and claim code that you can use to claim the appliance into your account. In a separate tab, go to intersight.com and log into your account. Go to settings and click on claim a new target. Select the intersight appliance and provide the device ID and claim code. 
You can also choose to add this appliance to a resource group in case you want to restrict access to it for some users. After the appliance is claimed, you can continue the installation. The installer will do some validations of your network requirements. And if it's not possible to resolve those DNS entries we discussed earlier, this will be reported here. You're able to change the internal network in case this overlaps with your own network. And you can automatically download the latest version from Intersight. Or in my case, this version is not released yet, so I will upload it the multi-node appliance will be generally available from version 6.15. Now the installation will start and I will speed up the recording until the appliance is fully installed. When the installation is finished, you can log into your appliance and continue the configuration. You will need to provide a license and when the license is registered, you can validate that the single node installation completed successfully. Now we can add the remaining two nodes to the cluster and create the multi-node appliance. First, go to the URL of the second node and when you're presented with the installer options, choose Add Node to Appliance. Provide the hostname of the first node and the password for the admin user. After the installer is finished, you'll be able to see that the second node is now ready to join your first node. Before we can create a multi-node cluster, we need to have a minimum of three nodes. So let's repeat the process on the third node. I will speed up the recording till all three nodes are ready to join the cluster. We can now create the cluster and monitor the progress by viewing the installers on all three nodes. I will again speed up the recording till the installation is completed. The total installation will take about one and a half hours. Currently the installer does not complete successfully, but when you see the deploy services on your primary node task running, you should try to refresh the page and you will be presented with the login to your multi-node appliance. After the installation finished successfully, you can now log in to each node. You can choose any node you like. After you logged in, you can navigate to the appliance page and there you can see that you're now running a three node cluster for the appliance. I hope this video provided you with all the information you were looking for. But if you want to get more details, please check out the Intersight Virtual Appliance Getting Started Guide. Thank you.